Welcome to Clubfest, the best channel for all your football updates. In today's topic, we will be looking at Jose Rivero making excuses with his big squad claims at Orlando Pirates. Orlando Pirates coach Jose Rivero has made a number of excuses for his team's recent struggles, the most recent being the squad size. Rivero has now claimed that he is struggling to manage the large squad he inherited at Pirates when he arrived at the start of the season. This follows his comments that he doesn't eat or sleep when his team loses and he has previously stated that his team didn't deserve to lose after previous setbacks. Pirates ended their three-match losing streak with a 3-1 victory over Golden Arrows on Saturday, but their performance was far from convincing, heaping pressure on the beleaguered coach. While most coaches welcome more players, the Spanish tactician sees it differently, citing the 32 players at his disposal as one of the factors complicating his job. The number is just a number. I'll have to change my approach to work with this number. I'm happy to do it, Rivero said, according to Southern Life. It's complex because we try to make all the players feel the same and we have a limited time to work and share minutes. But it's part of my job. It's difficult to choose, difficult to figure out which one is the number one inch. I've worked in other clubs in Europe with smaller squads, more experienced squads, and less experienced squads. You must adapt. With the size of the squad this season, I'm learning a lot about how to keep everyone as involved in the process as possible. With the size of the squad this season, I'm learning a lot about how to keep everyone involved in the process as much as possible. It demands a lot of effort for me, but especially for the guys because they are the ones who work during the week to play and I am the one saying, no, you're not going to play this week. So it's complicated to maintain that relationship, but that's what we like to do. With the season only halfway through, Pirates appear to be out of the title race, sitting in fifth place with 22 points, 19 points behind leaders Memlody Sundowns, who can extend their lead to 21 with a win over Supersport United on Monday. It is not where the Pirates hoped to be when they brought Rivero on board at the start of the 2022-23 season, having also made a number of key signings. While he has already won a trophy at the MTN 8, fans expect him to assert his authority in the league, and he has yet to do so. Pirates will look to continue their comeback against Stellenbos in their next PSL match on January 22nd. That's all we have for you on this topic. Please like and subscribe to the channel for more contents and do not forget to leave a comment. Peace.